This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories, and welcome to my review of the Monsters Inc. franchise. With this, I'm looking at the main two movies, Monsters University and Monsters Inc. And I'll briefly touch on the two shorts, the first being Mike's New Car. Well, actually, it should be Party Central, then Mike's New Car. And yeah, going into it, I'm going to do these in rough chronological. I think Mike's new car takes place before the events of the original movie, so I'll be doing it in the order from there. And going off with the first one, Monsters University. It's an okay movie. It's not one of my favorites. I don't think it's completely terrible, but it's honestly a movie that I can kind of just ignore and forget if I really wanted to. When I was going through at least some of my favorite Pixar movies and franchises, I wasn't even sure if I was going to put this one in, and I also didn't feel like I missed much. It is it's an okay story, and with that, it just is an okay movie. I don't really have much more to say about that one. Moving on to Party Central. Uh, this is a completely forgettable short. almost forgot to add it into this video because it's just so forgettable. I don't think that it's too fun or anything. And with it, I thought that the story was, eh, it wasn't that good. But yeah, it's a fun little thing. It's probably fun for a kid to watch, but it's not that good of a short. But on the other hand, Mike's new car is hilarious. It's such just a funny series of events where we get to see Mike trying to just work his new car and mainly Sully, but him also messing it up. It is a pretty funny series of events, and I had just so much fun watching it. I think they did such a great job with it, and... It was just a really enjoyable one. And yeah, honestly, that's all I have to say about that one. It's a fun little one, but let's move on to the best one of it. It will probably take up most of this video, which is Monsters, Inc. And this is just really an amazing movie. Such a classic release to me, and with it, you get... Pretty great villains with Randall and Watermuse. And you get to see just so many other crazy things. The story with Boo is really interesting, and all the characters are fun. You get some fun cameos like the Abominable Snowman, which was just a really great character. You get so many other stuff, and... This movie is just honestly amazing. I really enjoyed the story that they had. And with it, it's just such an amazing movie. I think the relationship between Sully and Boo is done really well. And the jokes also apply just really well. It is such a fun movie and it's something i really love to watch as a child but also i really enjoy watching it still everything with it lands pretty well and i really do love the movie but yeah honestly that's all i really have to say i really do love monsters inc and mike's new car is just a really fun short Oh, there's also that amazing thing in the end credits of Monsters, Inc. If you have, like, the DVD, which I don't think I have anymore, but it's where they do both the bloopers and the play of Put That Thing Back Where It Came From or So Help Me. Definitely recommend looking that up on YouTube because it's a really funny part. 
But yeah, honestly, that's really all I have to say about these movies. I really do enjoy them, and I want to know what you think. Please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video, share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.